Hey guys, is hey guys, it's Lisa. My dog has her stupid squeaky ball, so please excuse her rude. Penny, come here. Bring me your ball. Come here. Um. Anyways, I wanted to share you guys some of the uh, foods I've really been enjoying this past week. Um, I've kind of stepped out of my comfort zone and started like some um, harder foods because I am now cleared for pretty much everything. Um, I still haven't tried steak. I'm still pretty leery, but Father's Day is tomorrow, so I might buy a couple steaks, and we'll see. Um, when it comes to portion size, I'm definitely able to eat, um, like, three ounces now because I'll show you my first really good, I love this. It's easy to pack in the diaper bag. It's perfect portion size are these um, P3s by Oscar Mayer, and these are 13 grams each. And this one is 170 calories, and it's got, this one has applewood smoked turkey breast, reduced fat marbled Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese, and dry roasted almonds. And I, like I said, I just, especially having kids and being on the go, um, these are two ounce servings, and I've already been munching on it. But the perfect thing also is they're like a bite size for your sleeve, so you don't have to worry about taking too big of a bite. And, I am just really enjoying these. I did try the ham one yesterday that came with ham, almonds, and sharp cheddar. And I really liked that one because I like sharp cheddar cheese. Another thing that is weird that I haven't tried it until recently is um, peanut butter. And I know this is a really, really bad stuff for you because it's got like three grams of sugar in it. But um, I'm really having a hard time getting my calories in. Um, my calories have been anywhere from like 400 to 6. Like I can't, I had like an ice cream bar and I know I've said this before and that was the only way that I could get into that 7 to 750 range. Um, and also I've been setting my timer on my phone because I just get so just busy with life that I forget to eat. Um, so what was it? The other day I was making my kids peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I took... I think it was like, a, I think it was a, uh, yeah, it was a celery stick because I was making my kids um, ants on a log, which is where you take celery stick, you put peanut butter and then raisins on it. And my kids love those. And I decided to make myself one. And what I did is I basically took the uh, celery and I piled it <laughs> high with, um, with peanut butter because celery, I, I hadn't tried it yet. And I knew it was really stringy. And some people had said that their sleeves didn't agree with it. So uh, I did fine, and I know it's because I chewed the piss out of it, but um, that was really good. And this is 7 grams of protein for 2 tablespoons, which is 190 calories. So I am going to go today, actually I've got to go grocery shopping, and I think I'm going to do like a grocery shopping haul video. Um, my phone is charging, that's why I'm on my stupid webcam. But, um, so this is 190 calories, but I'm going to get all natural stuff that doesn't have like all the preservatives and we'll see how that protein count goes up on that there's also almond butter which is like peanut butter and i have a winco and you literally take the almonds and you grind them so i'm gonna see how much that is because i can't eat that much as it is this thing would last me like four months so i think i'm just gonna buy a um you know a little tiny container of the almond butter and see how that is so the next thing is of course um yogurts i've really been enjoying them I'm having a hard time right now when it comes to um, just getting really full and like it like the stuff is sitting really heavy in my stomach. I count my lucky stars that I haven't had any acid reflux issues, um, but it seems like what I do eat, it's sitting in my stomach for a long time. Even if I just eat this stuff, which, you know, this is, none of it's like carbs. Um, none of it's super heavy, except maybe the almonds would be considered heavy. I don't know. Um, so, um, it's just sitting heavy. So I can only, this is I think five ounces, 5.3 ounces. And I can finish probably two thirds of this and then my kids eat the rest. But this will literally keep me full for four hours. Um, so that's the issue I'm having right now. So that's why I'm really... Oh, and if I drink a protein shake, mm -mm, I am done for like a half of a day. It just, it's sitting really heavy in me right now. So 
I have been um, just trying different foods, um, going back to, you know, mostly liquids and seeing how that was working. And it's just, it seems to be all foods. The other day I put on um, my Facebook support group that I had had made stir fry for my family. And my son loves rice. So he ate most of the rice and then I forced him to eat the chicken and the vegetables. But then I ate whatever was left over because that's just how normally it works with my dinners is I eat whatever's left over from their plate. Well, there was a couple like kernels of rice that were stuck to, you know, the chicken and the veggies. So I just ate it and I took, I think, probably two bites. And then I waited like 10 minutes because I was like, hmm, I'm kind of full. So I waited 10 minutes and I was still full. So I literally ate nothing for dinner. <laughs> um because it just sat so heavy and people are telling me that chicken's doing that and I my family eats tons of chicken so I'm gonna substitute whatever they make with chicken to um, shrimp or tilapia or salmon with me another thing that I'm really enjoying which this has no protein in it yeah no protein but it's just juice um, these are the V8 fusions 100% juice strawberry banana fruit and veggie and I believe it has, it's got lots of antioxidants too, and I'll talk about that in a second while I need it. Where is the ingredients? What the crap? Oh, ingredients. It's got juice of sweet potato, carrots, tomatoes, beets. So I just, again, this is easy, perfect, you know, small portion. This is 8 ounces. This is 110 calories. And this is just easy for me to take out of the refrigerator and toss it in the diaper bag. So I have that to go. Because I'm so sick, so sick of water and iced tea um, that I needed to get some juice. And I wanted it to be, you know, a decent, healthy-ish juice. And I am not a big tomato. Like, I cannot do, like, like the V8, the tomato juice. Mm, can't do it. Um, so I also am going to go today and get some spinach and some green apples and some strawberries. And I think I'm going to start juicing a little bit just to get those in me. Um, another thing that I'm struggling with right now is getting, like waking up and I go, so I wake up and between the time I go to bed and the time I wake up, I usually drink a 16 ounce water bottle. It's just, I find myself most thirsty at night. Um, so I wake up in the morning and I go pee and my pee is stinky and it's bright yellow and it's like I like I'm dehydrated and then I will go and um, get my kids up and change their diaper and um, have like a half cup of coffee and then I'll drink some more water and then I'll go pee again and it's fine but it seems like that initial wake up pee I'm like dehydrated and I don't get it because I drink a whole entire water bottle at night. So I don't know what's going on. So I haven't been drinking any of like the G2s or the Powerades or the vitamin water. So I think I'm going to go get some G2s today and get those antioxidants and see if that'll help clear up some of my urine. Because I'm not having a problem hitting my um, 48 to 64 ounces of liquid or water or juice or whatever the hell it is. So, all right. Um, I just want to show you guys some of the finds. I will show you my grocery haul later. Talk to you guys later. Bye.